It's about to be a glorious day for Adriana and her fiancé. The priest is almost done stating the marriage formula. If anyone can show just cause why this man and this woman might not be lawfully joined together, let him speak now or hereafter remain silent. Suddenly in the crowd, a hand rises. I oppose, shouted Jesus Christ. Poor Gabriangelo is begging his wife not to leave him, but she has already set her mind to a new goal. She will become a nun. Adriana, Adriana, don't leave me. I can't live without you, my love. <sighs> Gabriangelo, darling, I love you, but not as much as I love my beloved, the Lord. Don't cry, my dear. I will return, but only once I have seen with my three eyes not a second coming of Christ, but the birth of a new Lord, a new Annunciation. Adriana and her sisters are chattering and strolling in the convent's country yard. Suddenly, a shadow appears in the sky. Dear Lord, where is that? Adriana, Adriana! Greetings, O oh favored one! The Lord is with you! Gabriangelo! Is that you? <coughs> no, it's me, Gabriel! Gasp! And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call him his name, Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The End <laughs>